Hello everyone, my name is Heather Paulding. I'm the author blogger of Spunky Real Deals. And today what you're looking at is some, um, I had an old painted metal bistro table. Um, it was chalk painted with the Van Gogh Paintology. Um, and I decided, I mean it's really chippy after winter, it's April now, and uh, I decided I wanted to paint it a new color. Um, I quite like Annie Sloan and if, can you see, aha, that is my Annie Sloan painted shed. Um, I believe it's in the Chateau color. Um, it, it's like a little bit of an olive green um, and it's trimmed with cocoa and I painted it like two years ago and it still looks amazing. Um, but anyway, I am going to take some of Annie Sloan's Napoleonic Blue and I am going to then show you what it's going to look like afterwards. Okay, see you soon. Check out Spunky Real Deal for more chalk painted do-it-yourself projects. See you later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are. First step is we got the Napoleonic Blue on the first coat. It's a little shady over here, so I'm not sure how well y'all can see, but there's still a few blips, and in the cracks there, you can see, you can easily see there's still some bole. Uh, I'm going to try my best on the next round to go underneath and get that really well um, when I'm doing the second coat. I'll probably end up doing three light coats of Annie Sloan. Um, and then I have some, um, I think it's Van, oh yeah, it is, it's Van Daddy's, um, like lavender beeswax, and I'll just, uh, I'll go over that lightly over the entire project once it's dry. You don't want to coat it with, um, the Annie Sloan clear wax because it'll bubble. <clears throat> and the only prep work you really have to do, I didn't mention that in the first round, was make sure it's clean and dry so just go over it with a rag clean it let it dry and then you can start um i don't chip anything off you can chip like the stuff that's flaking up a little bit if you want i'm not do gonna do that um because it's an outdoor table it's gonna get chippy anyway so i don't really see the point um i'm just trying to refresh it renew it for the spring and summer um, and, and, and that's what this is going to do. Um, and like I said, this is a metal uh, bistro table, so, and I, I love this. I mean, this is great. It makes, I mean, the white got gritty and dirty and gross. And this is a way to have a fresh look for your patio like every spring. All right, I will come back to y'all after the second and third coat. See you in a minute. Okay, here we are. Um, Here's the Napoleonic Blue with a second coat on it, and um, I think that you can see now as I walk around that it's pretty well coated at this time, but a third one is just going to ensure that you got every little nook and cranny. During the second coat, pay attention to the slats on the top and on the bottom underneath. Uh, make sure there's no drips, walk around. Um, and if the paint is getting a little thick, just make sure you have um, some water. Um, after you're done with your second coat, look underneath the table for excess drips and make sure you rinse that off your patio so you don't have little spots underneath your table. Or if um, you're more organized, you can put a drop, uh, drop cloth uh, down before you start. Um, and that's all. See you for the third coat.